Hello guys, and welcome to an awesome game on the League of Legends. And by that I mean it's going to be really cool, because I shall be Bard, the newest champion to hit the League. You know, it was all like predetermined by fate and destiny, at least that's what I would like to believe, because I set this whole idea of being a schedule, and today is Support Thursdays. And he came out as soon as I got home. Uh, as soon as I got on from being home, he was on. I'm like, I'm like, whoa, that's so cool. So let's go over the teams. We have Kastanen in the mid lane, Jungle Nautilus, Top Kale, ADC Ash, and Support Bird. Oh, by the way, this is a charm you can pick up. On the enemy team, they have a Trundle in the top lane, a mid Velkaz, Jungle Vi, ADC Misfortune, and Support Bird. Though I kind of want to see, because I think it would be really cool having a support Velkaz, since that's something that is real, and having a mid bar to see him almost in two different roles, to see which one might actually be better. Mm. For later. Because if you guys don't know, after that reaches a certain point, like there now, it will do a pretty good heal. It will go ahead and heal people. Much stronger than before. Who? Who? I'm afraid. If they like come running, running out of this. Oh, <gasps> it just formed here. I thought I, I didn't know what I was seeing when it started glowing. <laughs> Lol. I love my team so much. So much love in my. T okay, no, that they didn't say that. And looks like it is mid lane Velkas and support bird. It was a long shot, but I I was willing to hope and dream. Let's put that one there, just because you guys can see. It will be unlikely for the enemy team to go ahead and get it. And I'm going to poke with my auto attacks. Uh, okay, now this is why I have this thing down. Because now they cannot fight the immense heals. He, he started with his stun, which I kind of considered doing, but I thought the heal would be better. Because it would give us more, I guess, pressure as I bring up the healing totems and let them grow it'll be easier for to be pushed up stronger and it gives a boost of movement speed for a tree so we have them in a line let's say Ash is here she takes damage she runs she gets a speed boost and heal she runs and she gets a speed boost and heal so it actually would be something pretty strong to do I just kinda wish they gave vision cause if I put this in here now <laughs> like well we won't get any vision of it She's gonna step on it. Oh, you missed. Yep, she stepped on it. So that was a little bit of a waste of mana, sadly. Okay, well, Ash is there doing that. I'm gonna go run and get this guy. This nice little chime put out just for me, and I'm gonna move at a stupid speed. So you guys probably know what Bird does. Well, his Q, as you saw, if it hits something, it'll hit it and slow it. If it hits it and, like, say, hits another minion or hits a wall, it will stun. This, I showed you, it puts down a healing shrine. Eventually, it will rack up the points and become a stronger heal. This one, I'll tell you as I do it, because it's really fun. And you guys see it to believe how awesome it is. You guys know what I'm talking about? Okay, I missed that. He missed that, too. That just shows how genius these guys are. So, let's see. Those are there. So let's see if I can't show you how cool this is. Okay, it's only a one-way travel, and anyone can travel through it, allies and opponents. So it's not something you should be, like, super intent on using if you're trying to escape, because the enemies can get through it just as easily. By the way, these chimes will power up your meeps, those little golden guys following you, and those are powered up for your auto attack. Ah. So what? You think you're so cool? You think you're so cool? Ash! No! Reach it. Reach the heals. Just gonna heal her. Uh, I'm bet my. Okay, so she probably didn't see that. Okay, and she's probably gonna get off a ward. Oh no, they were getting that. So I gotta dodge that, or not. I didn't dodge it, but it happened. Okay. Okay, he's going after them for some reason. Ugh, come on. I dare you. 
I'm warding you off with my extreme, extreme toughness. I'm only afraid that he's in that bush. Okay, no, he might be roaming mid. Bard, MIA. Just gonna say, it's Bard who's MIA. I had him all the way down. Okay, I don't know what that means, but let's see. Right now, Kostin has a kill and has died once. And so, and the kill has died once, but it seems like she got him pretty low. So that's good. So it's not like a one-sided fight, I guess you could say. Okay, we stunned each other. Lol. I'm just gonna power up my 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 powerful heals, and I'm gonna build not somewhat AP, I guess, just because that would probably be best in terms of getting up my heals to being as strong as they can be. I'm not really planning on being a powerhouse. I don't think he can be a powerhouse, but. So, I'm not really going to try. <sighs> oh, wow. Oh, no. He, he missed. That's good. He missed. So, at, like I usual, I'm going to go back around 800 gold, I guess. And then that will be it. And everything will be all nice. But, I'm not going to, like really go all the way back I'm gonna walk gonna go say I'm on my way to my chimes my chimes cuz I'm gonna start collecting some of those see if I can't do it cuz actually they give you experience points if you guys didn't know that which is pretty cool now I'm gonna go ahead and do this walk through here to get to my other shine and go all the way here, I'm letting Ash know to be careful because, of course, I have to go all around the map. But it's pretty good for me, just saying, because they actually give... I, I get movement speed boost, so I'm going to be back pretty fast. I also get experience from eating, taking them in, so it's pretty nice. So now that he's out of my bush... Okay, no, that wasn't that great. Okay gonna attack her be like yo yo get off the one thing with bud I got this even though it wasn't really recommended because I was planning on going on some AP and that would give me some good AP and I was just thinking that perhaps ugh, please don't be in here please don't be in here please don't be in here okay good I got it to increase my chime capabilities so the more chimes I have it has a bunch of bonus effects like that I think he does a hefty bit of damage. Let's put that one there. Huh, I wonder what this means. Oh, wait, I accidentally took it. <laughs> Lol. But that's a... Pro oh, I see. Apparently you can see the opponent's chimes, but... Okay, so that's one of his chimes. That's something he has to collect. Okay, that's decent, I guess. To know that. Uh, sorry. Oh. Just gonna do that to make it seem like I'm coming over, but I'm not, cause I'm not dumb. Oh. My bad. I meant to only exhaust him. Just gonna say that because I didn't mean to completely yank that kill off of her. That was not my intention. But I'll make use of it pretty nicely. So I hope it's not too bad of a loss. Gonna get some vision, health, and mana. One more health and one more mana, and that should be all. Hunky dory. Okay, I. It's all fine on her. So. I'm a roam a bit. Though, you should farm. Gonna smile, cause smiles make everything better. Plus, with the idea that she's gonna farm is pretty good, cause. If she can just get a lot of farm, it'll be pretty dang good for our team. 
So let me just put a ward here. Let me put a thing here. Oh. They have vision on it. But they can't see me attack from the other side. But I think the fact that I auto-attacked showed me from the other side. Okay, so what were you planning on doing there? Okay. Don't know how much we could actually do here because they saw us incoming. Let me just see if I can't just get a thing here. Just gonna heal myself. Okay. Use my stuff. Okay, don't know how much I can do here. Okay. Nope, that didn't work how I planned at all. <sighs> sorry. N sorry not. He flashed my ult. Just to so know I was trying to save his life. And that I almost saved his life. And if you guys saw there, I... His flash was pretty good, but he was about... Here, in the middle of my screen, and then I ulted there, and he would have gotten in, in my ult and been able to kill, unable to kill the nest Nautilus, if he didn't get my ult, if my ult didn't miss. And that's the thing is, that's what you got to be like counting on. You have to make sure like you plan for things. Perhaps it would have been better if I could have gotten my Q off for a stun before ulting, but I'm pretty sure that that still means that. Um, Velkaz could have probably still ulted and gotten it. Okay, so our Kale is suffering a bit. Uh-huh. Okay. He should be super slowed. Okay. All hunky-dory. I have to be careful. I'm gonna go try not to die and but place a ward here. Ah, I was dang wasn't gonna chase him though. I wanted me. My chimes. I wasn't really. I was trying to collect chimes and I died for it. Didn't expect the Vi. But that's my fourth death, so hopefully it doesn't matter too much. Huh? Their team is pretty much just wrecking us. Huh? The problem is that he's tanky, but it's not like he can, like, go and go on running forever. We lost mid lane, we're losing in kills. The only people on our team with a kill is me and Cassidin. And that's very problematic, I guess, as you guys could probably tell. Just gonna attack him. Cause it actually gives me some gold. Nice amounts of gold. Okay, just dodge that. And be there in his face. Gonna use this to heal myself and get a speed boost. Okay, just dodge that. The enemy rod got killed. Good job, Ash. You did it. Okay, I'm just gonna go around. Let's see, how much do I have on this? I've on from auto attacking about 120, but I should probably be able to. I should probably be a little bit more of that. Uh, more like gold for my. Uh, whatever. More gold than my tribute than ancient gold earned. Because I believe that's how it works. I get tributes for basic attacks and spells. Uh, I want that chime. It's like greedy. It's like super greed unless I have the minions at the turret. Okay, I got it. I just really, really wanted that chime. Okay. 
Just want to get a water dragon. They already got it. But, you know, I, we had vision on it, so we know when it's going to be up. There's the pink one here. I got to clear it. Just going to wait a while. While. Uh, just going to heal him. Just going to then stun him up there. Hopefully, maybe we could do something. I guess not. Just going to use this for the heals and such. Uh-huh. Okay. We can't really do much here. I don't think... I flashed because there was no turret, and it probably would have been best if... Hmm. Not really going to do anything there. I guess she was kind of planning... To have the, them chase us a bit more, and perhaps we could have turned her around, but I guess that wasn't really what the enemy wanted to do. So let's see. Hmm, a good item on a support like me might be Sen. Sen. Ah, uh, I don't know what to get, so I'll just build further into this. And let's go for ability. Something, let's see. Either Wisp, Looting Echo, uh, I might get Audience Sensor, because it powers off heals, I believe. Let me just check. Yep, heals and shields on your grant some att extra attack speed, so that would be helpful to Ash. Although she's more caster than attack speed mage, it's not really going to be the super most effective thing in the world, but it's going to help. I'm confident in that. So, let's see, farming rise and trouble wise. Vi's probably, and Miss Fortune are probably the biggest deals of their team, so we should be careful for them. Okay, that's good. Let's run and hide, because they're coming in for a surprise. Not. Okay, I was expecting Nautilus to go, you know, through the portal. Power. And kind of like make plays happen. <sighs> okay. I guess he might be able to kill him, but I would be careful. To be completely honest. Okay, it died, and I hope he doesn't get caught out. Because that would be pretty bad for us. They destroyed our turret, sadly. Velkost is coming in. So all in general, this isn't the best looking game for us. So, But hopefully we could... I think we can definitely turn this around. But... Okay. We gotta turn this around. And it might not be easy, but I believe we can do this. Because, you know what? You gotta have belief when things are going like this. You can't just... Be like, oh, things are going to turn out horrible. Especially since I have my meep things. Okay, so let's see. Next to build. How do you check? Okay. Okay, challenge three abilities and meep upgrade. I don't know. What's the upgrade? Uh, I wish you told me the upgrade. To be completely honest. So I knew what was going to happen to my memes. My guys. One little tower. Oh, I wonder. Okay, let's see. Here. One more, Meep will appear a second faster, right now, times to randomly appear for Bard, cleaning extra damage. So, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to power up my Q, because I already got my W up pretty high. Okay. Okay, just going to actually, like, deal some poke, since I have this, and that will help me. Still not a lot in that. So it might not be the best buy now, considering that Bard isn't the best at poking. But, I still feel like it's doing a good job. But, okay, I, just to get my Meep to appear faster. Just actually have to click on this. Oh, by the way, you can get pulled out of that by a Blitzcrank Cook or something. Depending on, you could get slowed. I wonder if Trundle could block the portals with his cone. So I'm just going to be here for the general backup. Because as seeing that he might need my help. Gonna put a ward here. K 
Okay. So I'm gonna also put a ward down in the other bush. You'll destroy one of my other wards. Most likely, yep, one at bot lane. But we need to make sure we're not gonna get attacked from behind, you know? Just try to get off some auto attack poke. But be careful about it. Power up my heal. Okay, by the bait. Okay. Uh, wait, what? Why are you turning on me? Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I realized <laughs> they went went through my portal, it would have been bad. Just to say what I meant here, I want to pull from here, so if they went through it, they might have been able to catch up with her. So that's something I probably shouldn't have, like, done, because that would have been, like, really bad, actually. Because if they caught up with her, we would have, they could have killed her and not just killed, and I probably would have died anyways. But let's not bode well on the past, because especially since things are going pretty badly. There's Nautilus, here's a chime, I'm just going to collect my chimes and act like, that thought and accident never, that almost accident never happened. So you guys see, I don't actually have to touch my chimes. I just have to get close enough to do it. And now I should be able to go get a gank off here. Okay. Okay, I don't know if we could actually do anything here. So let me just run away. Okay, that was bad. Vi is a pain in the buns because she can just... They all have pretty good abilities to chase, I guess. Because Vi can pretty much go over any wall and we're probably like making this situation that's already pretty bad. A lot worse just because of how we're playing it really poorly. Okay, guys, let's group more. Okay, hopefully I can get there on time. I'm a little afraid of something that may or may not occur, with especially with her being in the front line. Okay, so let's see. Oh wait, I got Vi. How did I get Vi? I'm just wondering. Just gonna go around to be, be my youthful, uncouth self. Gonna fly around the map. Cause I really don't see any more things for me to do other than to collect my guys now. Trundle just doesn't take damage. I guess you could say to an extent that is pretty true. He just doesn't really take too much damage. So I'm going to go ahead and punch this guy in the face. He actually went and used his portal to get out. I could go through that if I felt brazen. But there's no idea what's going to be waiting for me on the other side. Uh, dude, this guy is like getting health back faster than I can deal it. Uh, uh, <laughs> I give up on that endeavor. I'm not going to be able to get it done fast enough. Okay, this should be fine. They seem to be moving towards the dragon pit. Just gonna get a ward over the side. If everything turns out alright. Okay. So they actually move through it slower if you guys didn't know. Uh, 
So I might be able to take him down with me. Ah, uh, dang it. I think the Celestial Vagabond of their team healed him. There wasn't much he could actually do there. Hmm. I want something with a lot of attack damage and health. So let's see. Rallies Crystal Scepter might just be what I need. Huh. Sadly, I'm going to go for more health because at this point, I'm not doing any real damage. And getting more health will probably allow me to survive a lot better. How many times do you have, Bard? 45. Million. And two. Yeah, chime collecting is a dangerous business. Uh, especially since there's so many shimes around there. The thing is, Nautilus, I don't know why, but I think it was probably a little rash. Uh, I should be able to survive this. And if he goes through, he knows there's nothing good waiting for him on the other side. Okay, that's funny. Because I think he went through it, possibly. And because there's no way back, he just brought him into my team. Good job, guys. So I don't know why he's smiling. He could be happy for me, or he could have a lot more times than me, and that could be the reason why he's happy. Uh, going to this fight, I'm not sure about it. Especially because they're focusing the Vi. Which isn't the best thing in the world, to be completely honest. Because, okay, they're backing off, that's good. But, that you, make, you have to think of why are they backing off. They could have easily... Okay, no, they're not backing off. They're, they're not doing that, what I thought they were doing. Okay, just gonna walk away. They knew that they couldn't catch me because I'm the speed demon of Emerald Forest. Ha, ah, that's funny because he actually went to trade with me. But the thing is, I had more. I had the meeps under me, so my attacks did more. So those last few auto attacks weren't all that, like, super strong for them. Okay, so Bard is also there. My eternal rival. So let's put this down. I almost want to see how much it can heal if you, like, go all the way through. So let's watch the magic happen. Okay, so now it should be perfect. And awesome, and it does a pretty good move speed boost and healing. So just letting it sit there and go up, it's not a bad idea. But I might have accidentally ran through it, didn't I? <laughs> Lol. Okay, put that there. Get some wards down out of fear. They're definitely winning, but this game is far from over, in my opinion. Far, far from over, my friends. Because you never know who wins until the very end, and we can make a big turnaround. Who knows? Okay, there's no wards in this general vicinity, so we should be pretty fine here. Uh huh. So I'll heal them, and I guess going more after more than this. Okay, so she flashed and didn't get me. Huh, dang it. Come on. You gotta, you gotta ult him, you gotta ult him, you gotta ult him if you have it. Okay, he got out just fine, so hopefully you have the ult for yourself then, I guess. So, as long as everyone gets out hunky-dory, I'm fine with that. Okay, please tell me you're gonna survive, Kale. Aww. Then we have no one really to defend except me, and I'm not the strongest at defense for defending. Because if they die me, I'll die like instantly. Sadly enough, that's not. There's nothing much you could do here. Well, now, welp, I got baited. Well played. Just gonna auto attack. I think I wasted a meep on that. He threw his life away for nothing. Sadly, that is the honest truth. But. There's probably people around the area, so let's see if I can't just scope it out. But apparently Nautilus is on the way to ruin the day. Okay. I wonder if... Okay, I'd be careful. Uh, 
Oh yeah, that's the thing. I kind of ex kind of saw this coming. That if you chase too far, that's why I kept putting wards down. Just gonna go there and stun them. Gonna run through. Speed up myself. Just gonna make sure that they can't. Gonna stun them for as long as I can, maybe. See if we can't turn this fight the other way. Dodge that. Power up my Q damage. Let my team come back for us before I try to retreat. Because if I retreat, it might end up badly. Oh gosh, they're going for dragon. Nautilus has to get there like super fast. I don't think there's any way I could really assist him in that speed. I mean, ha, uh, dang it. Okay, is that my ward there? I wonder. Yeah, they might have just gone there and completely destroyed it. No, don't take it just quite yet. Okay, I'm saying we should probably have attacked someone else. Uh, don't focus Trundle. Trundle doesn't take damage. Because his ult makes him incredibly tanky. Tanky. Okay, guys, I believe I told you this before. But... I'd say we should probably defend bot lane. There's not much we can really protect mid lane. Sure, they might go here, but if they get another if they get another inhibitor, we're pretty much in the gutter. So I gotta run like as fast as I can. I don't care, we have to save the inhibitor. Okay, I don't know if she went was going for me or if that was just coincidental. Okay. So that missed everyone in sight. Come on, don't fade. Let's all go through it. Just give a speed boost to our Cassidin. But now I'm going to go back and defend. To be completely honest, there's no point in chasing this any further. With my team, if they get it, good. If they don't, I don't really care too much because we need to defend our turrets. Okay, that's all that matters at the moment. Defending. And we don't want too many turrets taken top, so I think if I leave the Ash here, it should be fine. Because Ash is pretty good with wave clear. Okay, so good on me. Good on everyone on our team. And it seems like I was able to defend. They got Trundle, it seems, and perhaps Vilk. No, I don't know. Vilkas died before Trundle, it seems. Unless the huge level disadvantage changed things up a bit. But I have no idea if it would. So I would just say that it probably seems that Trundle died first. So let me go ahead and get some more chi chimes. Because these will just, at, in the end, just make me considerably more powerful. Uh... Yeah, I kind of just... Okay, I got somewhat stunned, but I should be fine. They might not focus me, but they might actually just kind of peel off me after that and go for Baron. Ah, uh, dude, we should not fight this. I'm just going to say that now. Hopefully, they don't Dang it. It almost worked. It almost worked, guys. So you guys can't be disappointed in me. Because just a few more glorious seconds, and I probably would have made it out alive. And that would have been the happiest moment of my life, because I thought that was funny, because they didn't really come for me straight away. Uh, and they already got Baron. So I'd say, yeah, this knowledge, this whole game, just has been, like, really aggressive. In my opinion, he's gone in a lot more than I think he should have, and that probably has 
giving us a little bit of trouble, but I don't, I don't think he's like that would be the biggest like point of us losing. The point of us losing is we're not really f a great walking, they're like super well together as a team. Okay, so they pretty much have all this great initiate, and the thing is that's the ult. He did damage from afar, like I did to. When I was trundle, I actually killed someone from afar because of that. Uh, yeah. Let's see. We all did pretty bad, I just feel. Really bad that you guys are going to have to suffer. Suffer through this game. I feel like I did a decent job for a first time bird. I knew what his stuff did, I read up. But at this point, I mean, there was a lot of struggles. I hope you guys understand that. Uh huh. And I'm gonna say it's not over yet, but it might be over if we don't focus well enough on who to attack. But I think if we really walk hard, we could probably pull this together. We can still pull out of this. We need to group, effectively focus, MF, then Vi, then Vel. Or Vel. Because right now the thing is like. MF is the one with the most damage at this point. I mean Velkaz is a great source of damage on their team. But compared to MF who has more kills. I can empty up Vel. Good. If you guys don't know what he means. It means um his Q stops. Go for MF and I'll die Vel. Okay. that This stuff could all walk out. If we do it correctly. And... Don't fall for obvious baits. Like, there are some things where I'll be like, that tickled my funny bone the wrong way. Now I'm just say, back off. Back off, guys. That's pretty much like, they're ready to go. Like, I feel like they'd be pretty ready to go in on us. So we should be careful with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and help my team farm the jungle. Just going to stun that super minion hopefully intercept this super minion and that's the thing they got a dra they got the dragon we shouldn't have contested that at all uh cuz you went for drag no it's fine we need to walk as a team I believe we can win. I believe it. I honestly believe it, guys. Our scores? Sure, there's a... They have almost more than double our score. Is that going to stop us? They probably have more than... Almost more than double our goal, too. Huh. Dang it. They have so much power in this, like... Where's... Where's Cassidy? Okay, they probably went up top, and I don't know how they almost died, but we gotta, like, defend this without her. Uh, dang it, guys. I guess it was probably my mistake that lost us this game, and I have to apologize. GG. Well played. So, I have to apologize. This was a bit of a bad game. But I hope you guys learned a lot about Bard's kit, how you're supposed to play him, how he can be more effectively played. And his ult is one that is been to like called very versatile but it also could be very bad if you do it all wrong like it's not just a wasted ult it could get people killed it could destroy a lot of things and I'll give you a tip I didn't get to use it for this but I was thinking about using it it was just kind of like hard pressed against us to get it this way so I probably didn't do it I probably didn't do it once but if I use my thing it may it puts them in space it takes away the ability to attack and all but I was thinking of ways I could use it on perhaps like MS or Velkaz's result, like how Costadin said it with his Q, he could stop channels, which would have stopped their, both their ults. So could have I if I, let's say, used my ult and I would have stunned them, that would have put their ults on cooldown, I believe. And like I said, you got to choose how to focus. They said Trundle wouldn't die, that's because he was a tank, and that means that you shouldn't focus him. If enemies don't die, even if you pull all the damage into them, you just don't really want to focus them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you picked up 
a few tips on Bard and enjoyed watching me play him. Next time, I'm going to try and perhaps a different role, see how that works out, maybe mid, or whatever seems like the best thing at the time, so. Oh, if you, so, I hope you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on the League of Legends.